to another one of my vlogs if you're a current subscriber if not then welcome to my channel so i have a parcel here which i'm going to unbox with you guys um i have been waiting for this parcel for just over two weeks now i have another one which i have also been waiting for I did order the stuff on the same day um but there were some items that were out of stock so that's why it has taken me such a long time to get them I have some orders to do i have almost 30 orders to do it is absolutely crazy i'm a little bit behind because i was waiting on this parcel and the other one whenever that is supposed to come hopefully it arrives in a couple of days because it's taken ages and it's literally put me so far behind um so this morning i've spent the past five hours what is the time right now um so it's three o'clock and i've been baking in the kitchen for about five hours straight my fingers hurt so much and i've still got so 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 much to do um so in this drawer is where i keep all the treats on my website if you guys are new to my channel then i run a online pet shop called tiny hamster paws and on my website i have a bakery page where you can purchase handmade treats for your small animals um so basically a lot of these treats are kind of like empty so i have some um okay who's calling me oh that's charlie hello Hey baby, just had to strip all of the admin off here. Jess was with me, bless her. She was holding the hoover for me. I was putting everything out. The rats have been, it is the maggots have been eating, feeding on the dead rats. That's what it is. Forgot to empty the hoover, so I'm going to leave it till tomorrow morning. And then he's going to have to empty it. And he's going to say, bunch of maggots, spiders, fill up. I was wondering where my phone case is from. It's from Ideal Sweden. This is my new case. I've had it for a couple of days. This is part of their new autumn winter collection. Um, they have loads of different amazing designs and I have a discount code if any of you guys are interested in purchasing anything off their website. The discount code gives you 20% off which is good and I genuinely do like their phone cases. This is my second one and it definitely won't be my last. I'm gonna go and check the stuff in the oven because I don't want to burn them. All right, how are you guys doing? Oop. <laughs> it steamed up my lens. The cookies are doing all right. And um, what I've got in there in the moment are Oatie Nibble whole wheat beetroot. So it doesn't look like a lot, but this is basically everything that I have baked today. So here's an overview of all the goodies. And oh my God, you guys are gonna be so, so, so happy because I have the fruit hideaways back in stock and I haven't had these in stock for months and months and months because I haven't been able to get hold of them so this is quite nice to see again it's like they've changed them I don't know but I feel like they did look a little bit different before or maybe it's just because I haven't seen them in ages but um yep so we have a pear which is super cute uh we also have a strawberry which is a favorite among you guys and we have an orange i don't know if i should keep one of these i might keep one of these because i'm planning on giving cupcake a sort of orange and natural themed cage because i do have some fanciful stickers i'll show you guys in a minute and i don't really have a lot of like orange themed stuff these are the vanishable stickers that they've rang out for autumn and they are so 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 cute um but i don't have like a lot of orange things uh so i might actually keep one of these oranges for cupcake i don't know what these things are in the yellow boxes but um i'm gonna get to them in a minute but i think the only other thing is this pack of the science selective pellets because someone on instagram asked me if i could get a pack in because i don't really put them on my website anymore because it makes parcels too heavy but you can like request them and let me know what else you want and i'll let you know like how much the shipping is going to be the shipping prices are absolutely crazy they're insane for international shipping um and the heavier the parcel is the more expensive it is so if you get like two bags of food with a few other bits of my shop and then at the post office they charged me like 40 pounds to send the parcel off. yeah i just thought i'd let you guys know because a lot of you asked me how comes i don't have the science selective food or the jr farm food on my website anymore and you know that's the reason why how do you even open this oh okay i don't know why they packed them like that this is just the plain kind kits uh this is what they look like these are for the hamster boxes i don't know whether i should actually post on instagram that i have these back in stock because i don't really have anything else in stock let me show you the drawers um so this drawer is pretty much empty um i know there's like some stuff in there but 
because I haven't packed orders, most of these stuff are probably like sold out. Um, apart from these, because I just got these a couple of days ago and I haven't actually put them on my website yet. I completely forgot about these. This drawer isn't too bad. I recently got some new food dishes in. Um, so like these are in stock, obviously. I've got like loads and loads and loads of treats. Um, yeah, there's a lot of treats and there's some more stuff back there and loads of food dishes. It's just like the chew toys and stuff. I don't have a lot of. So here's what this drawer's looking like now. It's good to see that it's actually got some stuff in. Most of these are all for like the hamster boxes. Um, I've got a lot more stuff in the second order. That one is going to be quite a lot of items. Um, there is actually some stock on there for my website. Um, but most of the stuff will be for the hamster boxes. Once I've got all of these like 30 orders sent off, then I'm going to do a restock for my website. So that's literally what I've been waiting on. I've just got the um, fruit hideaways in this basket. So it's great to see them back in stock. I got some more boxes in the other day, even though you guys probably don't even care. Um, so there's only 10 boxes, but I've just ordered some more today. I've ordered like 25 because by the time I start packing stuff, these are going to be completely gone because um, these are the size boxes I'm using for the um, hamster boxes this month and uh, basically these are going to be gone by the time I pack those orders so I just thought I'll get some more in so I'm not even more delayed or more waiting uh, boxes to arrive. Thought I'll give you guys a quick update on hamsters. Cashman is doing fine. She was a bit moody this morning. Um, I haven't actually seen her since this morning. Um, I'll probably see her a bit later on. It's because I've been in the kitchen for the past like five, six hours. Um, but she was in a bit of a grump earlier, so I just left her too. Cupcake's doing fine. I think she's asleep in her rock house. I did feed them yesterday. I feel like whenever I vlog, there's like no food and no bowls, and it kind of looks like I don't feed them. Um, but I do tend to uh, scatter feed them rather than putting it in the food dish because then that way they can like go around and pick up their own food. So I finally finished baking all of the oat and nibbles whole wheat so I've got uh, the beetroot ones down here and then I just have the original ones back here. What I'm doing now is I'm going to do some labelling. Um, so I have all this packaging, there's 50 here I believe, um, which I need to label. I feel like I'm going to need some more packaging very very soon because by the time I've actually done all of these orders I'm going to have like none left. These are the ones I've already done. I've done these ones the other day. And I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube as well. So I've just finished sorting out the packaging. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I'm just watching a little bit of Gabby. I'm watching her old videos. I don't normally watch her videos. I've known who she is for like a good couple of years now. But I never really watched her videos if that makes any sense. Um, but I came across her channel like two days ago. And I've been like binge watching her like moving vlogs. They're so, so, so good. I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and biscuits now. Because I just really fancy a cup of tea. So I've just packed some treats. These are the Ocean Nibbles Whole Wheat Originals. I just thought I would pack them so that I didn't mix in the new ones with the old ones if that makes any sense so here's all the treats that i baked this morning um they're nicely in the jars so i'm gonna go and put these away and then these are just like the extra ones and i've got them labeled so i know which one is which after he's been fighting so i personally think he's got a bit of a hairy issue and i love it really need to change my camera battery because it's about to die so here's my spare battery and if you guys hadn't seen this in my last video um but this was my first idol of sweden case it's so pretty i've decided to keep the um <laughs> case it came in i did have this case on my phone for a little while until i swapped it out for my new one which came in this box um, I don't know why the packaging is different, but yeah, I just thought I would show you that if you didn't see my last video. So I've literally just got my tea and I'm just going to have some digestive biscuits to dunk in my tea. Let me know if you guys like dunking biscuits in your tea. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I love it. So this is my website if you guys have never seen it before. So this is just my bakery page, so all the treats that I make. Um, so I need to actually make some of these today. I was going to make some more of these two OT nibbles, but I thought I would basically just pack a couple of orders. So the first order is just for two treats, banana bites and OT nibbles beetroot. Next order is for three treats. I've got these two so far, the paw print cookies and three whimsies chews. And they also wanted a pack of the bunny, my little sweetheart 
fennel treat. These ones are so cute. I love that they're little hearts. I think that's just adorable. This next person has actually ordered already. Order sitting in my room because I packed it a couple of days ago, um, waiting so that I could do my next post office trip. And they went ahead and made another order for a pack of pearl print cookies and they had already ordered a red food dish. So I'm just gonna open up that parcel. So I've got it here. I'm just gonna open it up and put them in together because it doesn't make any sense me sending them two parcels when I've already got one of them. So this next order I need to do is one of the four orders that I can't um, seal until I've done the pearl print cookies. But I thought I'll pack everything anyway and then obviously in the morning once I've got the cookies ready, I can just pop them into the parcel, seal them and you know, get them sent off. So they've ordered one of these stickers. I did show you guys these in one of my previous vlogs. They're by a company called Studio Martin and they basically collaborated together and I have my very own uh, sticker. You can use these in your journals or your planners. So the one they want is, I think it's this one, I'm not even sure if you can see that um but it's basically got my treat packs and i think that's so cute so this next order is for one of these jelly pots which i do need to get some more of and one of these mineral candy cakes and a pack of the popping cookies and look who's just woken up hello cupcake i haven't seen you all day hello have you been lazy today sleeping all day long she's so cute <laughs> She always likes to lick your finger, it's so adorable. So this order is just for a pink food dish, so this is what it looks like. And some beetroot paw print cookies, so I'm going to go ahead and bubble wrap this now. So here's the bowl all nicely wrapped up in two layers of bubble wrap. And this order is actually going to the United States. I'm just about to do this order now, and they've ordered quite a lot of treats. So I thought I'll quickly show you guys Cashmere. I just saw her on her wheel, haven't seen her since this morning. Hello. Let's put you down here. All right, let's put you back so I can get this last order packed because I have been packing orders for like an hour now. Hello, yes, I know you're cute. You're very cute. Do you wanna go back in your cage now? Come on, come on. Stop licking my hand, come on. There you go. Right now, I can do this last order. Um, so I think I can fit everything into this tiny box which is good i was hoping i wouldn't have to use a big box so i need one of these which is the viq carrot nib lots uh, no one's ordered these in a little while they was a really popular at one point but they don't seem to be as popular anymore um they've also ordered one of these the rosewood natural strawberry sticks these are not as popular as i thought they would be um they're really really good but i'm just shocked that not a lot of people like these no maybe i'll get some other flavors in but these are the strawberry ones and they've also ordered one of these so these are all the treats that they ordered there's quite a lot of stuff there there's just one more thing i need to get which is a woody's caterpillar just basically uh sorted out this box it looks really good so good morning you guys it's basically eight o'clock just about to fill these bags up with the paw print cookies i done last night so these are all of them that i made so this is definitely enough to fill up five bags this took me so long to do last night i think i started at about nine ish and i didn't finish until about 11 or did i start at like eight or something but i didn't finish until 11 o'clock so these are basically nice and fresh so i've just finished packing all the treats and now i need to go ahead and get ready for my first day of college i'm so excited no i'm not excited um but i am really looking forward to seeing my friend shauna um but yeah i have about an hour to get ready so i'm just in my hallway at the moment watching a bit of gabby and i've just uh put the pork and cookies into this box so i can now go ahead and so here's the orders I have to actually send off today. Um, so I'm gonna go to college first and then I'm gonna come back home and then go into town and post them off. So I've just reorganized the bag to fit this box in. Um, let me see if it's heavy. No, it's not too heavy. Dressed and ready now for my first day of college. I'm not too sure whether I should actually wear a jacket or not because it is supposed to be like 20 something degrees today, um, but it's not that hot at the moment. Right, so let me quickly show you what I'm wearing because I need to leave out. Um, so I've just got my black cap on. Um, I've got my hair in a plaid. I mean, it's a really nice jumper. It's quite thin. You probably can't see it too well on camera, but it's got this sort of like mesh sort of 
bit here and I'm just wearing my Michael Kors crossbody. Absolutely love this bag. I've been using it quite a lot recently and I've just got some black super high-waisted jeans on as usual and then I've got these really nice trainers on. Um, my whole outfit is basically from Primark. I hope I'm not going to be there too long. Um, I don't think it's going to be a full day. Um, we was told to go in at 10 to get our timetables but I feel like it's going to take a little longer because my college is just like so messed up and confusing. So we're just in the stadium at the moment. I'm filming on my phone and we've just got our timetable and our new lesson book. It feels so weird to be back here though. Yeah. It really does. <laughs> it's going to be so weird that chess is just I know. But it's weird because last year obviously I wasn't here for like the assembly because I had hospital in the morning. So I don't have a clue what it was about because I came in at the end. There's not really that many people here to do the talk. It's so empty. But what is it? Who is that man again? Who is he? The... That's like the head of the... Oh, the head of all the cable. Yeah, there's more coming. Is he going to tell us to move down? He's telling them to I think all oh, the that's new, still I our class. Think, no, but I think all the new people are going to come because even he was just like, oh, you're the only ones. Oh, uh, so there's a lot more to come. Oh, okay. Hello again. I've literally just got home. Um, I was going to go back out to the post office, but honestly, I'm just going to leave it until Friday because I'm so tired. I didn't go to bed until like 12 o'clock last night, and obviously, I was up quite early this morning to get ready to go out, and I'm just feeling so, so, so tired. So, college went really, really well when I first got there I was like oh my god this is going to be terrible um, but we got our timetables and everything and I'm really 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 happy it was great to see a lot of the people in my um, class uh, a lot of people aren't doing the second year so it's kind of like half our class or even less than that camera keeps on going out of focus and I don't even know why but for the second year level threes there's only a small amount of us so we pretty much all have the same timetable apart from two people in my class because they need to uh, have chemistry on their timetable but we're not studying that at my college at the moment so they're going to the other campus which is Enfield which is the main one so they're going to be there twice a week so I got my timetable so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that in a minute um it was just great to see everyone I was catching up with my friend Shauna um we just sat down and had a good chat and I didn't bring my camera with me I was debating on whether I was going to bring it with me or not I did vlog a little bit on my phone um so yeah it was a great day today um it's still quite early-ish like I was I wasn't out for long um it's literally like it's not even one o'clock yet so there was a trip on Friday but for the second year level three students let me just put you guys down that might be a bit easy the second year level freeze the trip is to portland zoo but we did go there back in december but it is compulsory for like i don't know what other class it was but they have to go but for friday it's optional i don't think anyone in my class is actually going on the trip on friday um so i get the day off and we don't properly start until like next week monday so my timetable days are the same days i had last year so monday thursday and friday um my friend shauna her days were wednesday thursday and friday so the only difference with our timetables last year is that her farm day was on a wednesday and my farm day was a monday oh so here's my lovely timetable um i don't even know what most of these lessons are we have this book here which is our exotics book i don't even know why we got that today but yeah so here's my timetable so here is monday biology breeding and genetics and then we've got these two lessons we've got exotics slash pet store nursing i'm really interested to see what that's going to be like and the same with this lesson as well and then we have assignment support which i'm quite happy about and then we also have assignment support down here as well um and yeah so this is my timetable i'm quite like happy with it i don't know what all of these lessons are like i don't know what this one is and i don't really know what that one is um so we have i think three teachers no four teachers i think this might be amanda so all the teachers we have here are the same teachers we had last year we're going to be in the same classrooms as last year apart from we're gonna oh no we're not well monday we're in cp1 which is the classroom we was in last year and then cp2 is the class next door and i think 
think CPA is a class upstairs, which we started going to at the end of the year. Um, so yeah, that's my timetable. Best thing about this timetable is that, um, let me turn you guys around <laughs> so you can see. The best thing about my new timetable is I don't think there's any farm days and I'm so happy. You guys, if you have been following my channel for like, a good couple of months like when i was in college you would know i hated mondays because it was the farm day i hated the farm the last couple of months of my course like i just didn't go to farm apart from to finish off like my assignment book that we had for um the farm but i just hated it so 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 much it was the worst thing ever and i was just like why can't we just have straight lessons i prefer the lessons than the actual farm days but with my new timetable i don't think there is any farm so i'm so happy and i'm not the only one as well there was like another girl in my class and she was like oh my god i'm so happy we don't have farm and but yeah so i don't go back to college until monday so that's great um i have what's the day today tuesday so i have wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday five more days left until i properly start my second year of animal care management actually the next day now and i have some really good news so i just spoke to the company that i had been waiting on to deliver stock for just over two weeks now and um the product that was holding me up was the woody's caterpillar and i did actually contact them the day i ordered and said if I could have the rest of the order sent to me and they can hold the caterpillar back. And they was like, no, we can't like do that. Um, but obviously it's been almost three weeks now and that particular item still isn't available. Um, when I ordered, it was originally six day delay and obviously it's extended way past that and it's still not in stock at the moment. So I just said to them, like, could you just take that item off and just deliver everything else to me? So because I've been waiting ages that should be here um, tomorrow fingers crossed so with the caterpillars they are actually included in this month's hamster box but I do have a few of them in stock I think I should have like seven one two three four five six okay well I have six of them um, and I can actually use these in the boxes so today I'm going to be ordering some more caterpillars from a different supplier as well as some other stock there's cashmere so what i wanted to show you guys is my two instagram accounts. a lot of you don't really know that i have two um but this is my personal account so it's just like pictures of like me and all of that kind of stuff and all the places me and charlie usually travel to um so this is the picture i took yesterday um just before i left out to college and i actually put a like vote on my instagram story which i like to do um which i like to do a lot of the time to see you guys opinion so i was looking at some more of the idol sweden cases because um i'm planning on getting another one i actually ordered it like half an hour ago but um i put this post up yesterday so this was case one and this was case two and i love both of them but i couldn't decide so i asked you guys which one do you prefer and you all said case one. and then here's my pet account it's just called tiny hamster paws and here i post adorable pictures of cupcake and cashmere just being really cute and stuff um, but i am going to be doing a video soon on how i actually take pictures for this instagram um, a lot of people struggle with trying to get their hamsters to stay still hamsters are so difficult to take pictures of because they just run around and they're quite speedy and a lot of the times when you try and take a picture of them it comes out super blurry um, but occasionally you can get a good picture where it doesn't come out too blurry and um yeah i also put like post on here as well a lot of the time it's the same on my stories as it is on my other account but yeah so i just thought i'd update you guys on that so i'm not actually entirely sure why but my um iMovie wasn't um working i think it was i don't think it was yesterday the day before it stopped working and it still wasn't working yesterday so i had to delete the app and reinstall it I'm actually in my bed right now just about to uh start editing this vlog in a little while and i just thought to myself um i might as well just kind of like end this vlog here i don't know if you can see that but it's 52 minutes long already it's got to add on the clips that i filmed today so this one was five minutes this one was 15 seconds and this one was one minute but yeah this video is already super duper duper long and from today i've um filmed almost 10 minutes alone just from today's video because i talk so much but obviously once i cut it down it'll be about half an hour 20 minutes long 
Um, so I thought if I'm going to pack a load of orders tomorrow, if my parcel does arrive, the video is really, really, really long. Um, it's a struggle for me to get it um, saved and uploaded because my iPad is only 64 gigabytes. Videos take up so much storage space. And if you guys are wondering how I import my um, uh, video clips from my camera, I use this SD card adapter. I've had it since like 2016. The price goes up and down. When I got it, it was like... 25 but i think it's more expensive now but it's great um i just put my sd card in here and i import all the pictures and video it also works on my phone as well so i normally import pictures to my phone before i back them up to google photos and then i import all of my um videos to my ipad for me to edit if you guys want to see me pack in a load of the subscription boxes and all of that kind of stuff because i know you guys absolutely love um watching videos where i pack stuff then definitely check out my next video after this one um but i'm planning on doing a video in between just something really simple and basic um i might do like a hamster morning routine but i won't do one of those like super in-depth ones where i'm showing what i'm doing and stuff i might just do one showing like giving the hamsters food in the morning and um changing their water and sorting out their cage and all of that kind of stuff um, I might do something like that, so it should take roughly an hour or so to film and that shouldn't take too long to edit, um, just so that I can get like an extra video up in between um, this packing video and the next packing video. Then the video after my packing subscription box video should be a London one. Let me show you my filming schedule, I don't think I've ever shown you guys my filming schedule. This is kind of what it looks like this is like a sneak peek to how i organize all of my videos so if you go up to january these are all the videos i have filmed so i'm so organized um so we're now in september so i don't normally do like a goal thing but i've been doing that since last month um so here are like the amount of videos that i've actually filmed that month and then I've got like a goal next to it so my goal for September is to film 10 videos don't know how well that's gonna go um so these are the three I've already done uh this is the video that I'm about to start editing and then I want to do a video in between and then the next video will be packing hamster subscription boxes and then London with Charlie and then these three videos um or well, these two videos how to take my pen to come pictures and all my filming equipment they're kind of like filler videos if I have nothing going on at like at the moment then those are videos I can actually film um and then I have my wardrobe declutter collab with Lily um I don't even know when I'm gonna film this but I really want to do a wardrobe declutter I did mention in my last video and then we got October so by the time we get to the end of September I'll start filling up stuff for October and then down here I do have some like video ideas if I'm really stuck for ideas and I just don't have anything interesting going on um one week then I can like pick a video from here so yeah that's basically my video schedule yeah so I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed watching it I'm gonna have a load of fun editing this hour-long vlog um and I'll speak to you guys in my next video so bye for now guys